Well, good morning, everybody. Hey, we made it to Friday of the first week of the second semester. I don't know about you guys, but I'm about ready for a nice weekend. Today, we're going to talk about the ACT that's coming up. You guys will be taking the ACT on March 1st, uh, which is just a month away. So, in the month of February, during your homeroom time, you will be doing some practice for that ACT test. Um, now, I'm going to introduce you to a program that you have access to through Career Cruising. It's called Method Test Prep, and it is a very powerful platform for you guys to get lots of practice before you actually take the ACT uh, at the beginning of March. So, without any further ado, let me introduce you to Method Test Prep. Um, oh, just another note. Hopefully you all have your Chromebooks open and you're already logged into your career cruising uh, portfolios. If you haven't done that, please do that right now. So here we are in your career cruising portfolio. And first things first, let's find out how to get to method test prep. Go up to uh, your little picture and your name up here and click on my plan right underneath your name. That will take you to this screen where you can see all your portfolio components. And if you scroll down to the bottom on the left, you will see Method Test Prep. Click on Go to Method Test Prep. That takes you to the student dashboard for Method Test Prep. Now, first things, the temptation is to look at the main, uh, main body of the screen here, but I want to introduce you to all the different things over here first so that you get a real good understanding of exactly how much um, information you have at your hands. There is no possible way that, you, that we will be able to uh, have you utilize method test prep to its full capacity just in homeroom. So our idea is in the month of February, we'll introduce you to small pieces of this um, and then you have access to this 24-7 through your current cruising accounts and you can practice as much as you'd like, which we would encourage, um, on your own time. So let's take a look over here on the left side at this menu. Um, home will bring you always back to the student dashboard. Evaluation tests, if you click on that, you can take an evaluation test in math, reading, English, or science. Um, once you take the test, it just lets you know um, kind of give you a baseline score of where you're at before you might start all this practice. This is optional, um, but feel free to do this if, if you would uh, like to see kind of where you are right now before you do all the practice. Lessons and quizzes, you can take um, quizzes in each of the subject areas, uh, as well as lessons. So let's just say, for example, math. When you click on math, you'll get a big long list of lessons that you could take in different areas and then follow that with quizzes that you can take in those areas. So if you wanted to practice percents, you'd click on the lessons for percents and a couple basic things about percentages to keep in mind. So you can scroll through and take a look at all the different things to remember about percentages. Once you've done that, uh, and you could click the audio file to have somebody walk you through that lesson. You can go back to lessons and quizzes in math and actually take a quiz in percents to see how much you understand. The nice part about this is you read the question. I'm just going to guess at an answer here. Hit submit. Um, oh, and lo and behold, my guess was correct. So we'll go to the next question. Well, you'll see I got the correct answer. You'll see an explanation at the bottom as well. So if I wanted to see an explanation for that question, I click on the video. As with most percent problems, we want to use the formula part over whole. And then now the question asks, this very kind gentleman will go through how we get to that answer. Um, there's only four questions, and the quizzes are very short, so it doesn't take long to take those. And again, you can take quizzes in any of the subject areas. Vocabulary Builder, if you just wanted to continue to add uh, your understanding of different words. You can uh, take a look at the vocabulary list uh, and you can go through and take the quiz and see how many words you get correct. Practice questions. These are questions that are uh, lined up just like the ACT test. 
You can take them based on your degree of comfort in math. Um, you could do different kinds of reading and you could do different kinds of science. So these are all available to you to also practice. And nice, the part about these again is when you answer them, it will tell you right away if it's right or wrong. And when you scroll to the bottom, you can get the explanation, video explanation or audio explanation of how to get to the correct answer. Resource materials, when you click on that, you'll see um, there are various videos that Method Test Prep has in here, so um, very hard math problems, a quiz for the five biggest mistakes uh, that people make on the ACT that's related to any of the subject areas. Um, or you can go to the Resource Center, which is Method Test Prep's website that has um, some great information on it. The thing to keep in mind here is that um, oh there we go thing to keep in mind here is we need to do a drop down over here the core you'll be taking the ACT not the SAT and then you do a search and then it will upload all the information that pertains to the ACT versus the SAT so you get a math review packet um, review packets in uh, various subject areas user's guide for the method test prep, practice questions, uh, webinars. There's so much that you could do through method test prep. As I said, it's a very, very powerful tool available to you for free. All right, so we're almost done here with our intro to method test prep. The last thing is the main body of the, of the student dashboard screen you'll see that it's broken down into weeks and that there are activities, practice activities, very short, five minutes, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, um, that uh, you can access these little practice activities. And clearly, uh, we have about four weeks before you take the test, and there are 20 weeks worth of practice here. So our goal is not to have you get through all of this during homeroom, but we will introduce you to pieces of this during homeroom. Um, so starting next week, you will see what we would like you to do for uh, the first week of February in homeroom as it relates to your practice for the ACT on Method Test Prep. So that concludes your introduction to Method Test Prep, brought to you for free by Sheboygan South High School, because we, we really do care about you guys and your performance, and we want you to do as well as possible on these ACT tests. One final note, on the second day of testing, on March 2nd, you will take a test for the National Career Readiness Certificate. Um, and I was just in a meeting on Wednesday morning with some of our local employers who were asking me if our students got the National Career Readiness Certificate, to which I was happy to say, well, actually, they do, as juniors, take the test for that, so they have that score. Um, several employers are beginning to use the score on that certificate test uh, for employment and also for determining what pay bracket their employees may be in. So the second day of testing just as important uh, where you will receive a score for the National Career Readiness um, Certificate Program. So there you go. Uh, look forward to working with you guys over the next month to make sure you're best prepared for that ACT and we hope that you have uh, a great weekend. All right, everybody. See you later.